All right. Good evening. Good afternoon. Good morning. <clears throat> excuse me. And welcome to the stream. We got more factorial going on today. <clears throat> God, excuse me. Where did that come from? Let me go ahead and check audio here real quick. Make sure everything's working. It sounds like it's working just fine. That's good. All right. Let's get into the game. And we had left off yesterday to where we found, we found oil and, um, the only coal that we had was this little spot, this larger spot, but I wanted coal that was closer and we finally found some after I walked all the way over here. So, um, I think our first order of business is we got to start doing some trains and we got a bunch of track made. Yay. Um, we're going to, uh, jump. How you doing? Um, I need to go find some more stone. Actually, oh, that's a good thing. So I'm going to get sidetracked right off the bat. So a little stone there. Um, 4.8 million stone because I need stone to make rails. And we have a very, very small, yeah, 47K. So um, I'm wondering if I can get a rail system outside here all the way up to here over to here and then we can come down here that way we can get sides so yeah that's gonna happen so all right let's see how far we can get with some some track here um we're gonna have to make some stuff i don't have so let's say let's make um that needs steel i have steel i just don't have steel in my inventory Um, we got plenty of that. All right. So let's make 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 50. Um, what are we running out of? All right. So I need stone so I can continue the track. Let's, um, stock up on this stuff. Oh, uh, we're going to need lights at the wazoo. Get some more copper. Get some more greens. All right, so let's, um, we're going to have to start here because we need coal. So if, if I create a, a track out here and drag, and we can put a station here too. So let's start with, um, start with a, a loading station for coal. Is that, that coal we're going to use over here too. So we're going to, have all those oops that's not a good thing that um temporarily getting distracted already hang on i gotta get my beverage going here it's raining all day today and about 45 minutes before the stream, the loudest clap of thunder I believe I have ever heard hit. It shook the house. I'm surprised the power's still on. I'm surprised the internet's still working. It was scary. Um, I don't want to put these guys there. Is there anything I don't need? Hmm. We'll just hang on to it. All right. Still need steel. Um, I'm just gonna here. Let's do five of those.
All right, so the first thing is this coal over here. We're going to um, drag from and then down. Actually, if we're going to do a rail system, it has to be outside of this. Wait a minute. Let's find my... There it is. I'm trying to make some stuff and I don't have enough room for it yet. All right, let's let's put this in the trash lot. That in the trash lot. There we go. Actually, do this. That. That. So for the loading, we go to a here. put it here that would work
And then we're gonna switch all this. Hey, good morning, Notable. How the heck are you doing today? We're um, trying to get a rail system up and running here. So this is going to be um, whole. Oops, it's a nice whole pull. Whole pickup. You're doing a heck of good. Nice. <laughs> All right, so. Can we make, all right. Um, so the idea is we need coal for the military science. So we can pick up our coal here and extend the rail system out here, drop it off, drag it there. Then we can bring what is on today's menu? Ecological destruction or genocide? Well, there's no genocide because I got no bad guys. So yeah, I'm just going to uh, terraform as I see fit. And uh, you can start your making your banners and your protesting uh, in about 30 minutes. <laughs> um, let's see here. I wonder if I can, um, oh, that water's going to be, yeah, so we need to, hmm, I think we're going to turn a corner and go right here. Let's, um, take all that back. Hmm. Nope. I need that one. I made a mistake. I need to go to my blueprints. I need to find that. Put that. Let's put that there for now. Hang on. I need to figure out blueprints here. Um. Don't need that for that anymore. Um, so let's do that there, that there. So that gives me my straight, my turn, and then I need a, a junction. There we go. Hey, Wes, dude, how you doing? Looks like we got a little landfill we got to take care of here. 
And I do have some landfill too. So let's go, let's go load up on some more stuff. Actually, wait a minute. Mm-hmm. Let's um let's see if we got so we got basically one, two, three, four, five. It's basically we'll do a three to four. So let's get um Plan a little better here. Three to four. Now nah, let's do a four to four. see here um let's see these guys need some power there we go and let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Because that's got more. So we'll do. Um, Oops. Hmm. Well, too late. Oh, I did it backwards, did I? That's why you're here to keep an eye on me, Digital. Thank you so much for that. Appreciate that. All right. Um. Okay, let's go back for landfill and steel. Got some stuff. I need to bring the car. So let's swing in here. Let's grab about 200. Okay, that takes care of that. Need to make some more power poles. Looks like we're okay on that stuff. Need some more steel. All right, let's go get the car.
Okay. Lights flickered and everything. Might be another clap of thunder coming. Oh, where am I going? I went way far away. Oh, I need to... Uh. Oh, wow, that was... All right, er, stop. All right, so... Yeah, look at this. We're out of stone. The moment I start... The moment I start using brick, this stuff's going to go away. It's a car. Lost my car. There it is. All right, so let's grab that. So we need to get this rail system built so I can get the stone going. Big priority. I, whoa. I doubt if I have enough landfill to circumvent what I want to do here. So I might have to, I believe, can you stop for a sec? I, think. I believe in my blueprints, I have a slant I do. Look at that. I wonder if I can bring this over and then slant up. We're gonna find out. Oh wait, 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 wait. I forgot to um, to make more steel real quick. Wait, what's not true? We're building the rail system for quite a few systems, quite a few reasons. Right now, it would be for stone, one of the big ones. Um, okay. Um, we need some undergrounds, it looks like. Need some rails. Uh oh. We run out of, ran out of stone. All right. Well, hopefully. We can actually put a train. All right, now um, to fuel this, I think we're going to do right. So let's put that. All right, you know what? We don't have to use that one. We can use that.
Trees. All right, so pop out. Let's um store stuff as much as I can. Those. All right. Uh, landfill. So we're going to go straight up, hang a left, drop some drills here, drag that down, and then we could actually, then we'll come back over here and see, I don't have enough landfill to do that. We'll have to come and see if we can't slant up. Never done a slant before. A little nervous. FX editor, how you doing? Happy New Year to you. Hope your fam and you had a great New Year. Alex and I played Fallout. Well, I, I want to say we're playing co-op, but we're not. We're we have uh, Fallout. We have a mod called Tales of Two Wastelands, which puts Fallout Three on the Fallout New Vegas engine. And is what we do is we do the same missions and we try to do the same path. And it's interesting how things are different. Mainly slept. Well, there you go. Rest up for the new year. Yeah. If our shipments hold today. I'm getting a, a pancake compressor, a six gallon compressor and some um siphon fed and gravity fed paint guns all the stuff and i have some sanding to do on some doors that we pulled off of a cupboard and we're gonna test out oh that didn't work there we go we're gonna test out the equipment see how it works um because the the tongue and groove ceiling in some spots is so old it's got a little bit of a flaking going on so when you try to paint over it, the flakes 
come off on the roller or the paintbrush. I'm thinking if we just, okay, that that's going to be in the way. Hang on. Come on. There we go. So my, my, my idea is that we just spray paint and then that way we don't have to worry about stuff falling. There we go. How are we doing here? Need to go. I guess we can just go. Well, eventually we have to pick up stuff from here. So we'll just go straight, drop some drills. I need to go get my car because it's got my drills. Anyways, we're going to give these doors a good sand and uh, use them as my testing for spray paint. And if it seems like it's going to work out, I have to get a different hose because the hose that comes with the equipment is one of those little pigtail. That's not going to work. And then we, um, I think Saturday and or Sunday, we're going to go over and do some caulking on where there's been some separation, some cracking. And, uh... This is going to be painful. Oh, dude. I know. Okay. Oh, I ran another one. Get all those filled in and then do a light sand on the first coat of paint and then uh, do some more prep work. And then if everything works out, then we're just going to do the ceiling and second coat with the new spray equipment and paint equipment. Go to Harbor Freight for the air compressor hose. Um, well, I'm either going to go to um, Home Depot. Harbor Freight, I think, is a little bit of a trip. I guess I could order it. What am I looking for? Oh, not this. Not that. Why? Oh, the hit keys. Oh, yeah, without a doubt, yeah. Hey, Red, how you doing? Red has been giving me some pointers on my home assistant that two years ago I had working just fine and then something updated with uh, my wireless light bulbs and they just stopped working with automation. They would work okay with like either, either my assistants, whether it's from Amazon or, or Google and uh, very tired. Gotcha. So I had to, um, I had to create a development cloud account for, how do you pronounce the company? T-U-Y-A for, for this company. I had to jump through some hoops, but being that the, the lights were online, um, they recognized them and then Home Assistant added the entities and devices so then, now I can manipulate them. I don't know why I had to do that. I'm sure there's some something writ up to ex, written up to explain it.
Where is the name in the game redeem? What? what you mean for Kerbal? Next week, I'll be playing some more Kerbal. For channel points. Yeah, the um, if you're talking about reserve a character name, that would be you get to be a Kerbal in the Kerbal career. Oh, I don't I don't do that. No, I don't do that. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, Wes. Or thanks, Red. All right, how are we doing here? So there's that. Um let's just keep going. Oh. Uh, that trees. I was playing also another game called um It was basically an XCOM 2 clone. Oh, oh, I should add it. Oh, I got gotcha. you. You know what I could do? I could do something and I could name trains after people or stations or something like that. I guess lights would be cooler. Now, what was the name of that game? Something Point. It was a lot of fun. Stupid aliens came in too fast, though. Phoenix Point. That's what. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah. Good game too. I thought they did. Yeah, I thought they did a real good job with that game too. All right. So let's uh, let's put one, two more sections here. You need more? Yes, I do. I need more. Hey, what are those? Cowbells. Gotta have more cowbells. For those who don't know, that's an old Saturday Night Live skit with uh, Christopher Walken. And that was Will Ferrell, wasn't it? <laughs> All right, let's go get the car because it's got the drills. I never saw the original skit. I caught it later on a repeat or a YouTube or something like that. I actually stopped watching Saturday Night Live. How do you say somewhat religiously? I mean, when it was the old, not ready for prime time. You know, you had your Dan Aykroyd, your John Belushi, your Dan, your Gildan Render. I loved pretty much all those skits. When the new crew came on, which was what um, Eddie Murphy, um, um, Joe Piscopo. I was still watching those, but then later on when they started getting these newer people in, it wasn't as funny for me. I guess I was, my humor wasn't the cutting edge. Chris Farley stuff was funny. Trees, fox, oh, hitting them. Get out. All right, we're gonna cross, there we go. Yeah. All right. So let's um, pop out of here. Let's grab drills, some of that. And let's go over here. You know what's going to happen is I'm going to start having power problems. I'm going to have to stop everything and start doing a solar build, and that's going to take forever.
but I wanted a challenge. So I'm not doing any nuclear. Two, three, so I'll say four to four again. Let's get some power. Rocks. All right. All right, so now we want to do a loading station. Get low on a uh, destruction bot. Oh, we ran out of splitters too. Can I make any? Nope. Hey, BMAC, how you doing? So we're gonna call this um um. What's it called? Stone. <laughs> I forgot what I was picking up. <laughs> oh, the penny just dropped. Your lights need to connect via the internet to a service provider to work. What? Oh, wait, what? What? I don't think I need that there. All right, let's, um, you gotta say, I need, I need power for lights. I get it. Okay.
A train here and oh wait I got some fuel I gotta figure out how I'm gonna refuel these trains could I let's see I have let's see here hang on I've got this but this only works with uh, bringing a train drops it off and then it distributes it via the logistics network. Now I could modify this. I could still drop it off and I, I can modify this. We could drop it off into buckets. Let the train stay, in, let the train stay there until the buckets are full. And it could, um, it's going to be ugly, but it could just, come down with splitters and fill up other buckets along the way yeah it'll be ugly but it'll work all right um all right so what do we need to do here um we need to get in our car your home assistant lights did a quick scan it looks like your wi-fi lights use a third party out of the internet to be controlled yeah they use um they use those guys. Bing. Sky, thank you so much for the 17 months. Risa, appreciate that very much. <clears throat> I do have the, 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 I'll send you a screenshot later, Red. But uh, I do got it. I didn't need to, I didn't have to have that. Digital, thanks for the hype. Old Grumpy, thanks for the hype. Appreciate it. Oh, and there's a phone call. Got to get, <laughs> okay. So we're going to try to do a slant. Because we want to bring, and I think my depot, we'll put the depot down here. If we can squeeze it in down here. All right, so hop in the car. Where's the car? That is why I like the idea of life controlled by x10 or zigbee yeah um i have i have the the echo 4 that's got the built-in zigbee um but again i didn't try doing any home assistance when i initially got the wi-fi lights i was just using them with the voice assistants and um and sure i can automate it through them but if the internet ever goes down then the automation the routines don't work because i got to talk to the cloud now, from what I hear, Home Assistant is actually coming out with a local version, unless I was, unless I'm wrong. Um, all right, let's leave all that stuff in there. Trees, more trees. You know, if you guys have got ideas and screenshots and suggestions, pop that into the uh, Discord over in the tech. I don't have a dedicated home assistant. All right, so go down here. Oh, whoa. I just heard the brakes on the car. Cool. So we need more splitters. Let's grab 100 of those. And undergrounds, I'm fine. So we're going to need some more. I mean, darn. I've actually been playing a lot with the Nintendo Switch recently. The control scheme is a bit odd, but it makes sense. Oh, oh. I've got it. I've got it on my, uh, <laughs> my, uh, um, Uh, valve. What's that called? 
Steam Deck, yes, thank you. <laughs> I just found out my home nurse is taking Friday off, so they are having someone new. Oh, I got you. I got you. All right, what am I doing here? Um, I need to grab some more of these. And we need to make more lights. That requires... All right. I got you. I get you. <clears throat> yeah, the playing Factorio on the Steam Deck is okay until you need to rotate something. The virtual keyboard is kind of... Uh, I don't want to say clunky. It's just weird. What do I need? I need copper. Oh, wait. I need that. All right. So let's make a whole bunch of lights. All right. Then what are we low on? Um, oh, we need some more of those. I am super disappointed that the company that did the laser projection keyboards. Oh yeah. You mean the one to where you had like just uh, nothing down there? Just, yeah, that, that was really cool. <clears throat> I, you know, I saw someone at a PAX that had a, a keyboard that rolled up and it had a wireless connection to a dongle. All right, so what else do I need? I got that, I got that. All right, let's see how well this is gonna work. Rubber keyboard, yes. I tell you one thing, this, this might sound utterly old school, but if I have to work on a laptop or something like that, and I don't have a mouse, I am so unproductive. Oh. Probably just me. When I was work, when I worked at Intel and we were, we had, um, my keyboard is from the 1990s. That is old school, yes. Is that not just me? When I worked at Intel and we started getting uh, Lenovo uh, laptops. Uh, I, I think before they were using Toshiba. Yeah, they're using Toshiba and they switched over to Le Lenovo. Wasn't that formerly IBM? Anyways, it had that little, it looked like a racer top, you know, the little thing you could move around. I had to disable that because it kept getting in the way. In fact, the little pad to type on, I had to disable that too because my thumb, when I was typing, my thumb would press it so it moved my cursor, so I was typing in hieroglyphics half the time. Quite annoying. All right, let's see here. I've never done this before. Oh, you know what? I need some more, um, those. All right, so what do we run out of here? We need more greens. Well, no, nah, it just, it would get in my way. Keyboard, Microsoft Multimedia, keyboard 1.099, mouse. Wow. <laughs> you, do you still have a ball inside that you have to clean? <laughs> I'm not making fun. I'm not judging. I need greens. Alex at work has got a, instead of a mouse, she's got a trackball. I, I, I can't use those. And there was a couple of people in my, uh, in my family network that used them and they were so unproductive. I mean, they were so slow and I couldn't help them because they would go, do I right mouse click or left mouse click? Oh, I don't know. It's not a mouse.
They thought that they thought it, it, it made their wrists feel better. It was more ergonomic for them. All right, let's see if this is gonna work. But when when Alex games, when she d uses a keyboard and mouse, she has a real real mouse. We both have a um Corsair. God, I can't remember the name. All right, so. Let's take a look. Which one do I want to use? No, wait. No, no. Um, I don't want a 90 degree. So. Huh. One other problem with the trackball is the frames per second because the right mouse click is on the left hand side. Oh. Uh -huh. Um All right, let's try this. And then this. So that is left curve and that's a right curve. So Whoa. That is so cool. Wait a minute. How do I continue this though? How do I continue the curve? I have coworkers that use a trackball. I've tried it, but yeah, I it just I can't. It's weird. Okay, does that mean I don't have a continuation? Oh, oh no, wait. That says two lane diagonal, but it has a thing. Using the other curve? Well, um, I need to go up to about here, diagonally. Hang on, there's gotta be a, a solution here. Nope, nope, nope. Well, there's diagonal. This doesn't have the uh, power. 245s make a 90. Oh, I see. Oh, 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 oh. Well, wait a minute. How do. Wait. Huh. I am not a barbarian. I think the solution is right. So this is a diagonal exit. That's also, that looks like the same thing on the different side. So if I use this um, and just take out that middle part, see if I can make that work. Uh, yeah, we get rid of this, that, oh, but we're not connected power wise here. Now, I just don't know if this is going to line up 
because when I use everything else, the, the way that it's set up with the grid and it, it lines up really well. All right, so that's almost where I want to go. Oh, I'm sorry to hear about that, Wes, dude. All right, so now where are we at? That should be good enough. So now if we do, can I just go, oh, not that one. That's going to turn, oh, that won't work. So we got to do, this. Well, it sounds like someone doesn't know. Probably passed on a little feedback. Oh, we're running out of track. All right, so I got to I got to go get some more track. All right. So, let's finish this. Now we need to go all the way up to uh, where the stone is. Oops. There's our stone. So what I want to do is take this all the way up and then connect that way. That way we have a big circle. I hope it lines up with that diagonal. Um, all right, so, um, if we do a stun, uh, an unload, we can flop things around and still use what we have over here. So let's get, let's get that in place. Uh, dual track unloading. Um, bring it. Go. That. Oh, these are using, uh, I got to switch these out. Hey, good morning, Saturn. I watched a really good documentary on Prime um, about opportunity and spirit. Man, what a what a bunch of incredibly passionate people about their work. Okay, we're out of stuff. We gotta go get more stuff.
Well, we're trying to, the first thing is we're, we're gonna be out of stone and I need stone to keep my rail systems going and, and other stuff. So we're trying to hook up our first rail system for stone. Stone we also need for the stone brick, so that's good. How we doing? We're good on those. Um, still need more greens. Wow. Right there. Okay, let's um stock that. It's okay. It's okay. Oops. We get some more greens. Try to go finish uh, the stone drop off. Oh, forgot to get. Instead of power pole. Um, let's see here. Go ahead and put that there. That there. Oops. All right. See how that. Oh, wait. Actually, um, let's put. drive over and um, see if we can't get the stone delivery to work. If 
Oh, good gravy. Look at all the trees. Trees and rocks. There's some copper. Oh, are these trees going to go on forever? Good. Hey, found some oil. A lot closer than the other batch of oil. Uh, what are the odds? My inventory's full. Dang it, right here. Here we go. Um. All right. Here we go. Oh, I forgot to put the cars here. Buh. All right, my bad. All right. Um. So I have an idea for a fuel depot. It's gonna require some work though. I think I got room to put it here. Let's see. Oh no, it's gonna to have to go. Oh no, it'll fit there. It will barely fit there. All right, cool. All right, let's take this over and see if we can drop, drop off the stone. So we're going to add a station, stone pickup, we're going to go there, well, let's just go there. Uh, well, this is stone pickup. How come I can't get to, how come I can't get to there? Do I have a broken track somewhere? Add station, stone, can't. Stop is inaccessible. All right. We're going to have to drive manually then. Here we go. Probably the diagonals. Ah, it was. There we go. Now can I get there? Hey, hey, look at there. All right, so stop here. That's all done. So that's going to unload. And all we're going to do is we're going to drag this over here and hook it in over here. Um, somehow. Let's see here. We do...
All right. Now, let's see. What I want to do is bring... Oh, that doesn't reach. My bad. have an idea Didn't mean to do that. Red cabs are us. Are you, you are you back in a holding pattern? Oops, it didn't work. Let's see here. So now what we do is we stop this, get rid of this. Do I need that one? I don't need that one. Do I need that? I don't need that. Okay. Um, No fancy explosions. All right, so that way we can still use those and Oh, I got you. I got you. All right. Connect that up. Okay. Um, so let's leave that alone for a sec. We need to get, um, need to get copper going to the military. I got the bricks here. We're gonna get the military online, that's for sure. Now that I have the stone here, I feel better. I, I gotta figure, and then after I get the, um, after I get the coal going to the military, I gotta do the, uh, I gotta do the depot. See if I can do that. I need a refueling stop for these dudes. Um, all right, so we're gonna grab the coal from here and then we're gonna drop it off here. All right. 
Make sure I know what I'm talking about here. Someone said explosions? Not yet. I keep running into stuff with my car, though. There's going to be a fortune in fender damage. Lack of fender damage, yes. Or a fender. There we go. All right, so we've, we've got the bricks we can bring down and this is the coal. So from where I'm standing, I'm gonna drop a little, so we're gonna bring this up more. Okay, so I wanna put the coal unloading as close to the slant as possible. One sec, guys. All right, I'm back. All right, so we want to do a unloading and it will fit right there. All right, we're going to do that. Is it possible to use a car in this game without accidents? I suppose if you exclude, well, if you exclude cliffs, you're still gonna get the rocks, but you can actually, I think, remove all trees, but you'd still have the possibility of running into rocks. All right, so let's see here. We wanna do that. That's true. It's very true. All right. So what do we need here? Need uh, more rails, more transports. Um, I remember I hit one of these, and it and it was a, there was like a fire.
All right, let's um stock up on this. And how are we doing here? All right, um, grab stack of those, stack of those. Ah, uh, get some more tracks. Uh oh, all right, um. Go. Oh wait. Do um. Hang on. Uh. Cool. Oh wow. Nice. Let's go finish, um, let's go finish the unloading and get this train going back and forth and get the coal going. We'll drag down the brick. Wait, no need for, wait, what'd you do? Hey, good morning there, Chris. Uh, can't remove the trees. Got to have something to build initial power poles. Oh, that's true. All right. Yeah, I guess you can minimize the greenage. Still have dead trees though. This is gonna be the coal. Yeah, coal unload. Oh, we need more inserters. Wait, what'd you do? You crashed a tank into what? Oh, I got you. I I must have gotten that one. All right, so we're going to grab um, that and then turn those. greens and those so we're good all right let's go back and fix it Let's, um, so about where I'm at here. I don't know if we need to bring over four lines of coal. Um,
Stupid tree. You know, we're going to bring over four. Just. Why not? Except for I'm out of stuff. Let's see. That's not going to work. That worked. That's not what I wanted. All right, let's get this uh, pole going. And we'll connect the other things. We've got to bring down the stone. And then after the coal is going, uh, work on the train depot i gotta severely modify it because it's set up for logistics um oh i gotta connect this I should be able to here we have this that should be the coal at a station coal unload bring it over here here it comes Neat. All right, so uh, to manual, and we want to do um, inactivity and time passed. It's all manual, right? Okay. All right, let's um, let that sit there for a sec. See what we got here. This would be. Oh, copper also. All right, let's drag this up to copper. Now, this is gonna stress out my copper, but I have plans that once we, once we get the network going. Wait, what's this one? D 
steel. All right, get copper and steel. Um, once we get our train network going, I'm going to expand re uh, resource availability. What was this one for? Our oh, copper. All right, so wait a minute. Let's do this. This is the steel. There. And this is the copper. I assume this one is the iron. I gotta connect all this. And then we still have brick. All right, so this is the iron one. stone we've only got a single output so this is going to be i think i want to drag it as far down here so i have more room hey monster how the heck are you doing so there's our there's our stone Let's um let's go on a train ride with the coal. I'm pretty sure we can put the coal on a loop and not worry about it since it can refuel itself. Dylan Moron fan. I don't know. That doesn't sound very nice. Alright, so we want to go to. Then we want to do the same thing. Connectivity. I'm past. And Bill Moore on Monster is a great special watch it sometimes. All right. I've got uh, tomorrow, Alex and I are dedicating some time to play with our 3D printer. I want to put it through a series of tests, uh, mainly on the Z offset. The auto balancing is rocking. Uh, the, yeah. And then uh, she wants to print out something from uh, Elder Scrolls. I printed out a couple of things. This is a, a benchmark, like, you know, angles and circles and poles and stuff. And it looks pretty good. I'm just wondering if it could be better. And then I printed another calibration item here. And, but it's got a hole on the bottom. So um, I don't know if that was deliberate. But we printed out some stuff. We printed out in uh, a fully articulating snake. Why is this not going? Oh, okay, now we are. And we printed out another calibration that had a hinge, a little tiny cube. So I got to watch some videos tomorrow on how to do the Z offset and do some testing. And um, there was, wow, it's just dumping like crazy rain wise. I think this is, I think the coal train is good. Um, so that's, that's my stone. We have stone right here. We're going to drag that down. And this should get the military online. That is a lot of water. Wow. 
and a little bit of thunder. So then we get that hooked up. I think my cats haven't got the message that the holiday season is over. They can't walk into my office anytime. <laughs> um, all right, so this looks like it's working. So we need to bring this down. Um, here. Cats have three rules. If they fit, they sit. If they are the center of the universe, recognize it and then treat them accordingly. If they fit, it, yeah, I got you. Okay. Like a loop. All right. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay. I don't think the, um, um, I need to put this on one side of this belt. That's a lot of water. All right, let's um, let's do this. Cool. Then we'll do um, this. That will drop that off on that side. And that means the other sciences will bring on the other side. All right, cool. So we have stone waiting. All right, now let's um, get this copper hooked up. Oh, I gotta go get some more stuff. Um, see here. Put that there. Need some undergrounds. All right, so now with some military science coming in, um, this gives us Spider-Tron, so we can start working on that. All right. It's gonna be Hopper.
And is this the steel? I believe it is. this. Oops. Really? Um, what do I want to put? Those there. Oh. Alright, so that should be doubling our military science. Oh wait, we gotta get the brick. Alright, um... We're gonna run out of brick because the stone isn't on a continual supply. That's because I need to make a train depot and start sending fuel to it so I can send these guys that don't have coal close to them to basically refuel. Ooh, wait a minute, I can, I can, I can cheat on this one. I can bring coal from this line over. Ooh, that's a good idea. That way I can keep the uh, stone going. Let's uh, figure this out. We've got a coal source right there. And we just have to... That. Grab a bucket. That. This. That. Oops. Cool. All right. All right. So let's get this going. All right. So we want to uh, time passed inactivity, and then we want to add another station. Should be the stone pickup. And again, we're gonna wait for time past activity. All right, make sure this works. Oh, did he, old grumpy? He's pretty crafty. He probably sends in a, you know, one of the elves to uh, test the waters. Gamers, if I can get a permit, I can show you a balance split of a four lane. Sure. Uh, actually, Wes, if you want, because if you put it in chat and I, I, I look at a link, I, I lose my tabs when I close Chrome and I forget to look. So if you use Discord, uh, there is a, um, a Factorio channel, and you can post it there and just tag me. Hey, that worked. Cool. Uh, what else do we want to work on military-wise? Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. That would be cool. Uh, that's all the military. Okay, we'll research that. I have a lot of blueprints for balancers, so my one to four looks like that. Yeah, if you've never been to Discord, there's a, a rules and then there's a roles and Factorio, you just click on it and it opens up the Factorio channel. 
Oh, look at there. All right, so, and this has got fuel, right? Nice. All right, so I think, I think we can leave those going. That's going to keep the military going, which I really don't need. Um, I, I needed it. And, um, I have to get a train depot set up, I think right here. We're refueling. I wonder if I should put two trains. I should put two trains for each of these. Yep, do that. All right, and then I learned, all right, let's put this on manual for a sec. And we need to put a train stop. Um, if I do a train, Put some fuel in it. We do cars. Oh, I gotta make more cars. There is a way that I can copy its train parameters. Does anyone know how to do that? Do I go to train? And we're doing stone. Or wait a copy. Oh, there it is. All right. Got it. So if we put you on automatic. Then if we go, let's say we just kind of back you up a little bit. And then we put you on automatic. Neat. So basically we're waiting to unload. Oh, the car is on. Okay, there it goes. Then you should slip right in. You got the same. Nice. There we go. All right. So now let's go down and do the coal. You put it in art chat. Okay. Oh, factorial art. Okay. Wait, I had a factorial art channel? Oh, it just said art chat. Dude, there's a factorial channel. Uh, once I get to trains, I give up too complicated. It, you know, a lot of people, well, I don't say, some people say trains aren't efficient. And I'm thinking, well, I tell you what, I enjoy the trains because each time I use them, I learn a little bit better way of doing things. So, all right, I'll look at it. So we're going to wait for the coal guy to come over here. So I can put my stop in the right spot. I am, um, I would not be able to do trains if someone didn't share a book, a uh, blueprint book for all the dual stuff here. Cause I was doing a single lane with little outcroppings, but yeah, it got too complicated too fast. I'm just waiting for the, uh, actually, maybe I can force him. Where's the coal? Oh, he's coming. Here he comes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. eyeball. <laughs> All right, let's put this guy in manual for a sec. Then we're gonna put a stop right there. And I have one train, I need four cars. There's the train. Then we get some fuel. And then we go right mouse click, left mouse click, and that's all in there, so we can put, go down here, back him up a little bit, and we hop out, 
Look at the automatic. And he should pull up the stop. Oh, then I need to uh, say that this can have two trains. Then I need to do uh, the other train too. So let's um, let's go figure out this uh, train depot again. It's um, someone gave me the blueprint for it, and it's designed to work with logistics. But I'm pretty sure I can tear it up and make it work with normal uh, um, old school stuff. Hang on one sec, guys. Let me check real quick. Um, so this is going to be probably controversial. First of all, let me drop off here and see what's going on. Um, that filled in. Uh, oh, that didn't. So why did we run out of stuff? We need cogs. So cogs go there. More cogs. And greens. All right. We're good there. Uh, we ran out of stone, which we have plenty of stone to bring down. That's good. That's good. All right, good. All right, good. Good. We need to pick up greens. Yeah. All right, so now let's go put attempt to put a train depot and I call it a depot because the trains are going to swing in there to get refueled. Now, what I learned is that I didn't know you can have multiple stations with the same name sending different trains to one name and that they figure out which one to go to. I had no idea. Mm -mm. I'm going to write on this. Make this fit right here. Whoa, train. Pardon me. All right, big train depot. Um, it will, I just have to go fix over there. So let's do that. Gotta go sword. All right. I don't know what that means, but have fun. Store, probably. <laughs> I gotta go get my sword. You're doing it wrong. What? <gasps> Dude, that's scary. All right, so we just need to get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Sweet. All right. Oh, let's come over here and finish this part first before it causes a problem. Um, I need to get rid of that. That's probably redundant too, but I'm not too sure. So I'm going to leave that.
We need to, um, a lot of this stuff isn't going to be made or put in here. You know, there's actually a termite version of the construction bots. Doing a little landscaping here. No big deal. Hey, stone. Yeah. All right, so we need to go get First, let's just load up on rails. Put the trees in storage. We'll put the rocks where the rails are being made. Rocks of stone. Make sure there's no trains coming. There goes the train. Where did I leave the car at? Ah, oh, all right. I gotta take a train ride to go get my car. Dang it. Um, let's go finish putting all the rails here, though. All right, so we can drop that in there. Drop that in there. Um, put that, that, that that back and we have a little bit more stone to put in there nice I don't know why I'm saving the trees in this case I need to make a power pole I guess that there um all right low on power um Probably should um, probably should start building up my resources of stuff again. Oh, wait, let's go take a train ride up to the stone. Bring the car down, and then we'll go finish that. That way the car's down here. That way I don't have to run everywhere. But we got a, a functional uh, rail system <laughs> in place. We got military science online. And we're making should be making landfill too. Yes, we are. Mm, very good, very good, very good. Good, constant bead of resources. That's what I like to see. All right, let's see if we can come over here and hop on, get a ride. All right, we're going to interrupt and say, let's go.
Hey, hey, look at there. Is there a sink in this game? Automatic resource destruction. I have a mod that um, when drills are have nothing to dig up, they'll put an X on it. If they're within the logistics network, a robot will come get it. Otherwise, right now, as I walk by it, it just it puts it as a destruct, and my my nanobots pick it up. I don't know if that was what you're asking. Probably was not. Trees. Oh, I took the wrong route. More trees. Oh, wait. I have to go this way. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, the train's faster than my car. All right. Um, Satisfactory had one, but I'm playing Dyson Sphere program and they have a no sync and it's hard to manage. Gotcha. All right, let's go ahead and, um, oh, look what I just took out. Doggone it. Um, what did I take out? Did it, did it get replaced? All right, well. I don't know what I ran over. Is there a way to find out what I ran over and destroyed? Let's just go down the side here. Like I said, there's a lot of stuff. That, um, like, obviously I don't have a logistics network. I'm going to leave all that stuff there, though. All right, let's see here. Let's walk this way. Also, I don't have the, um... Um, I don't have the, what are these called? Substations. Who needs mods? <laughs> hey, Linux, how you doing? Guys, do me a favor. Go give Mr. Linux a follow. He is a fellow rocket jockey, which is a stream team on uh, Twitch. He plays Kerbal. He plays, um, he plays some other, you were trying out another game too. Um, what were you trying out? Fallout 4 or something like that? Um, he is responsible for maintaining many mods, over 230 mods, has created his own mods. All right, so I think we got everything done here. I ran over something in my car, so I, I hope that's not critical, whatever it was. Huh. All right, so nothing should be coming down here uh, yet. 
Um, we have train stops we need to put in place. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow. I can't make any because I don't have stuff. <sighs> All right. So the idea is the, so this one is actually called Christopher Daniel. What? Why is that train station so different? This is where the train would pull in. It would unload. And what we do, we would do the unloading and then we would just send it down with splitters. I'm pretty sure this will work, but I need to go get some more stuff. Yeah, I don't have any steel. But I know where I can get some. Got to make sure that we're still making rails and stuff. So while I'm here, I want to make sure. All right, that's full. That's full. That's full. That's full. This is stop because we need. All right, let's fill this up with what we can here. It's more steel. Um, all right, I, I see a problem. I need to balance down there. So let's go. I thought I was doing, I guess I wasn't. Oh, that's right, because we're unloading. There's no balance on the unload. All right, so let's go fix that real quick. off some of this coal. And we're going to drive up here and get some stone. That'll do. Put some in trash. Cool. We need steel. <laughs> That's better. Now there's material. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's how many we needed. <clears throat> um, let's load up on. Uh, looks like we got everything we need. Oh, actually, let's. Cool. 
Uh, yeah, just bigger, denser pack. pack. And how, how you doing, Mosh? Um, pretty much, oh geez, pretty much my standard mod. I think the biggest difference I did was the uh, the bottleneck mod. They he updated it so it uses the newer API, so it's not a resource hog. Or um, yeah, I need to look at the blueprint for this. I'm I'm very scared that I ran over. So oh, I can't see. So that's got all chains. Oh, they're all there. All right. All right. All right, let's see. Wait a minute. Okay. So these are all called oh you know what i forgot to do i forgot to bring the names over darn it all right so if i do this right save that let's load this was from this one i don't remember how the stations were named whoa geez I almost died that's called refuel delivery And then all the other ones are called. Train stop or just refuel. All right. I can remember that. Where's my save at? There it is. Now, can I just do that? Oh, look at that. All right. So let's, uh, let's get a train in here and figure this out. So I need to make another train. All right. Then the coal source, we're going to pull it from here. Um, mm. I think that'll work. Train. I almost got hit again. All right, let's put, oops, not that, let's put this here and put that there. So your mission is to go to there. That didn't work. Oh, 
we'll do it that way then. All right, well, let's get him over there. I just noticed I don't have a train stop. All right, and you should be on manual. Let's hop out. I need to go up and uh, fix this train depot up here. So I, need, I need one of the coal trains over here. Let's take this one. Oh, okay. I still haven't got any of the refineries online too. That's gonna make a dent in the power. All right. Let's see. So this is going to deliver. So we unload it and we put it into a bucket. Um See, how, how would we put it in several, but because all the train stops are here. So this is their refueling. If we bring all these down, put it onto one rail down, split, there's enough room. All right, let's, uh, let's see. So this gets replaced by that. Um, and then we do okay, a bucket, bucket. I will fix the power here. Like I said, this was made for logistics and it's also using the um, substation. Okay, so we'd have to refuel. Well, it's gonna refuel itself, so I'm not gonna worry about that one. All right, so. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Um, Then if we pull it out of the buckets. No, that won't work. Gotta get rid of this. Through that. Um, first of all, we have to get into bucket. So that means this has to be on this side. Okay. would unload the top you got more space oh it's true that's a good point all right <laughs> all right so then we don't need to be so squeamish with that um
It's not going to be pretty. Get rid of that. Uh, we got power here, so if we use these, ah, oh. all right. So that and that, that, that. That'll cover that. Okay, let's stop that right there until I figure out what I'm doing. I don't need those active. I'm just gonna leave those there. All right, um, so then all we have to do is so if we, if we bring the coal down, this grabs it, puts it in the bucket. I'm gonna just do that. That should be more than enough. Cool. All right. Um. Now, if I if I go to the trains and disable their fueling, I should be able to come down here and get refueled. Let's do that. Except for the ones doing coal. So only the uh, only the stone. Do I have a car? I do. Thanks, Quad, for the tip. Oh. Oh, tree. All right, good. They're uh held up right here. Perfect. Let's do hop out of here. Um Oh, that's the coal. Doggone it. No, no, I need my car. Got what I was doing. All right. So let's see. Put you on manual for a sec. Good. You on manual. Nice. All right. So if we do the following, let's see, let's uh, disconnect that and let's grab a little fuel out of here. Grab a little fuel out of you. And then what we want to do is, so we unload it and then let's go um, pick it up and then hit the depot. And then we wait for Inactivity? Yeah. 
neat. So then again, if I do that and then do this. All right, so let's see if this works. We're gonna go for a train ride. And let's head to the pickup. So you need fuel. Yes. long train ride yes it is all right then the next port of call is going to be refueling go ahead and do that Here goes, moment of truth. Go in there, you cut through there, come down, and you should refuel. Nice. Looks like I had a, a fight with some biters here. A little slow going you should be full right yep all right Why was the, one of the coal trains was taken off when it still had stuff in it. Um, all right, so we're gonna, I'm pretty sure it's gonna work, but we're gonna test this out. It's, um, let's just head to the refuel and then let it continue. You should pull in, right? Oh, that's so cool. All right. We're going to get out. And then this. All right. So we need to um, wait for empty cargo. I'm going to add a station. Full pickup. Wait for full cargo. Or inactivity. Um, let's go to full pickup. All right. Not, not bad, not bad. So now we have a central location where all trains can go, unless they're a coal train or a fuel train, to get refueled. Just adds an extra stop. So, you know, 
There's something wrong. Why is this train here with coal? Oh, because there's inactivity. Oh. Right. All right, that's fine. Actually, I think I want to change that to say empty cargo or inactivity. That's what I want to do. I'll change that. Cool. Oops. The wrong key. Nice. All right. Uh, power problems. Oh, I left my car way over there. All right, so blue is going to unlock advanced oil processing lasers, which do we really need lasers. New. No. Uh, faster trains, substations. Um, I'm going to unlock this, but we're not going to use the power, but we might use uranium for fuel, maybe? I don't know. Electric furnaces, so we definitely got to unlock the blue. So. Um, so we have our oil. We've got our... our um, what do you call it? We've got our um, petroleum. Um, so for blue, for uh, for the blue uh, science, we need red circuits. I'm not worried about the sulfur because that that will get deposited in here, right? Yeah, there's the sulfur. So we need to make red circuits. All right. So to make red circuits, we need what? We need green circuits that we have, and we need plastic. Plastic we don't have. So we do have the red production set up already. This is the red output. Um, what we have to drag to this is plastic. So we have to go make some plastic. Then we can get reds on them. That'll work. And then we have, we have the greens and we have the copper right there. Now, I've only got two outputs of green, so if I want to make more, we could duplicate this, and then that way we'll have a, a four output, which actually would probably be a better idea. Um, let's do that. So I left some room so I could copy and paste this here. So let's do that. Copy all the way down to there, and then we'll put this, um, Put it there. All right. So we're just gonna put this in place. We won't drag anything to it. Um, I wanna I wanna go over and get the the plastic uh, started. And that's gonna require another train. We need to, um, we're just gonna place what we can here, get this built. Let's get some power to it so it doesn't blink and drive me crazy.
All right, so we ran out of undergrounds and splitters. And inserters. And um, assemblers. And power poles. Let's go down and get some stuff and finish this. So first, let's make our inserters. Make 200. Or, yeah. Right. All right, sweet. Um, we need splitters. Let's grab a couple of stacks of those. Undergrounds, a couple of stacks of those. <clears throat> and um, lights are okay. So we should be okay on everything else. Oh, wait. Need to um, grab that, make two engines. Then I need to make eight of these. We need hogs. Five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. So we'll go up and finish putting all this stuff in place, knowing that we're going to put it online. And uh, I think it's important to get red circuits online. Uh, again, we're running tight on power and we can't do solar yet. Or we can do solar, but we can't. What I mean by that is I can make those. I can't make those because I'm not making batteries. Batteries require, right, sulfuric acid. That means I have to dig up sulfur Turn it into sulfuric acid. So probably what I'll end up doing is bringing the sulfur down here, making the sulfuric acid here and the batteries here so they'll be local. Anyway. Oh, I forgot to grab the, uh, the uh, assemblers. And I can put those engines back. Um, right, I need these. Go. You know, I didn't get as, as distracted as I did yesterday. I had a lot of stuff being moved around, though. That was for sure.
and for the most part a lot of space again a lot of stuff's going to be have moved around once we get electric furnaces but i need to get solar online before we even think about that oh i didn't get enough assemblers well bummer all right did not some thunder all right so if we grab another 50 um looks like we're okay on resources there that looks okay. That looks okay. Oh, we ran out of uh, hogs. There you go. All right. So what we'll do is we'll get this hooked up. We'll have a four bus avenues thing feed into this. And we already have the copper. We just have to bring the plastic over. Yep. All right. Um, so the plastic is going to come from over here. So we need to do a, we need to make it. So to make plastic, we need chemical plants. So let's grab four chemical plants while I'm here. One, two, three, four. So we need pipes. We've got pipes. Um, all right, so to make plastic, how does that work? It's coal. All right, so we have to get coal. I think what we're going to do is we're going to dig coal here Use the train, drop off the coal. Okay. All right. That'll be tomorrow. So tomorrow we work on plastic. Where we got refineries in place, we already have the petroleum. What we need to do is travel up here, drop off some drills, bring a rail system over here, load up the coal, bring it down and drop it off for whatever's needed here. That way we're not hauling this coal hole all over the place. Doesn't make any sense. Do that tomorrow. All right, guys, that's going to be it. Appreciate you guys hanging out today. As always, uh, we'll roll some credits here real quick. Sky, I, I want to thank you for the 17 months. Appreciate that very much. That was awesome. And that was uh, thanking Car Toys for his gifted sub. And then, guys, you guys have a great day. I'm out of here.